Alright, based on the video title, I guess you could say that I'm simply spiteful that I didn't get into the Unity beta for Realm of the Mad God, so that's what I'll address right off the bat. I am frustrated that I didn't get into the beta, but at the same time, I'm kind of relieved because of what I uncovered because of it. I assume that one of my many campaigns after the Unity campaign from over a year ago uh, would also contribute to getting into the Unity beta. Hey guys, Future Rage Rain. I just wanted to quickly explain what a campaign was in Realm of the Mad God. A campaign in Realm of the Mad God is a greedy battle pass. You know how in Fortnite you have to play the game so that way you can get through your battle pass after you bought your battle pass? Well, instead in Realm of the Mad God you have to pay to progress through this battle pass so you can get to the higher tiers at a decent rate, alright? You can play so you can get maybe a third of the way after dozens of hours of gameplay or you can give them a few hundred dollars and then get all of the tiers. Jesus Christ, this is, oh my God. I thought I read it somewhere, but that's where I was wrong. I was probably just hoping for that to be the case, but where did the money go from the countless campaigns they held after the Unity beta campaign? To, who knows? I should have done my research. A lot of people don't, so. The reason I'm making this video is because of a comment I read on the subreddit for the game. It was along the lines of, why do so many hate DECA? I explained and that is when I fell into a rabbit hole. As I began to explain why some may hate the company, I did small bits of research, Google searches, uh, to back my claims and that's when it all hit me. DECA Games is a company worse than Kabam. That's not all. They're on track to rival King's Isle Entertainment for how awful their consumer practices are. That's another topic for another time. I despise King's Isle, by the way. I believe King's Isle is worse than EA and Ubisoft and Activision and just about every video game company there is when it comes to consumer practices. How is DECA this bad? Let me explain. Because I think what I've stumbled upon is beyond anything I've ever seen in the game industry before. DECA Games is an indie company. They're indie. So this means their operations cost is significantly lower than a AAA publisher developer would be. I hope we could all agree on that. With that said, I have to debunk the, they're a company, they need to pay their developers. Uh, they're trying to make money argument. And I agree with it, it's true. But even though it's true, doesn't mean it's not sad. I, I think it's really sad, especially since they're overcharging you for something that you could be getting for a cheaper slash smaller investment or something that's incomplete just because you want it. And I guess it's all right if you enjoy it, but it could be so much more. All right, now going back to the post I responded to, I stated that they should not compare companies to one another as it's damaging, especially for argument's sake. But even if we don't make comparisons to other companies and just look at DECA versus itself, there's a very clear devolution that company has taken in terms of consumer practices, increased microtransactions, engaging in further pay to win tactics to get the bag, and even pay gated equipable items. I mean, come on, this is this is bad like i don't know if you think this is good or like if this is acceptable but this is just bad and i think the crazy part is this is all just surface level realm of the mad god stuff this is why i made the first video but it goes deeper than that and it gets darker there's a dark side to the company there's a reason i call them a bad game company and not a bad realm of the mad god holder did you ever wonder why they had an S in their name, DECA Games? Well, they own more than one game, obviously. But do we ever hear about these games? No. And the reason is very simple. They don't care about those games. The reason I believe DECA Games to be a worse off company than Kabam is because they practice in the same greedy tactics as that company, but double down on them pay to win and pay to progress but that's only if you're lucky if not your game is left for dead if you're not a fan of corpses then these may shock you i'm sorry but we have to look at them knights and dragons is 
the first game I looked at, and um, it seems like that it might be getting updates, but ever since DECA came onto this game, they've introduced bugs and they made it very hard to progress for free to play players, right? If you don't put in the cash, you will have to wait and you will suffer um, the time, the time wait. Uh, making it impossible for players to progress without shelling out the cash because the free gem rewards things of that nature uh, They just don't work <laughs> They they literally just don't work for whatever reason watching ads that doesn't work And they don't get their gems uh, The next game is dragon veil vale. has very similar issues as uh, Knights and dragons I guess since has dragon in its name. It's, you know, it's just like we're gonna treat it the same way It's basically the same thing. I, I don't know um, but yes, it's basically the same thing. They can't progress for free. They can't get their free gems. So you have to put in the cash because if you don't, you're not going to be able to progress uh, the same way you could when the prior owner of the game owned it. And now we can look at some of the corpses. Modern War seems to be dead. People can't are struggling to log in and it seems to be riddled with bugs and they can't progress the same exact way they, they couldn't in the other games because of for whatever reason. Deca just so happened to uh mess that up in some way oh you know bugs happen i guess uh crime city it's another dead game you can't move your buildings inside of a city builder that's kind of ridiculous and zombie catcher is a game that hits really close to home for me personally um just because i played it like in middle school which is like i guess five or six -ish years ago that's crazy. Anyways, I played the game on a tablet that I owned in middle school. It was a good time. It was fun. It was a nice little zombie hunting game. But now, uh, after owning it for almost two years, almost two years, they haven't added any new levels. And on top of that, they made it hard to watch ads so that way you can continuously play the game. So they just stunt your progression unless you shell out the hard earned cash because nowhere and in, in the reviews that i ever see anyone have an issue with paying money to get their rewards so that's the dark side of deca this is these are the corpses that, that we had to look at and uh their original slogan was breathing new life into old games and i mean from what i can see they're half of their mobile library is dead after they bought it not before so it's unfortunate and yeah this is the dark side of deca deca is not the best thing to happen in realm of the mad god i'd argue they were the worst <laughs> I believe that the community alone was great enough to overcome just about anything after Kabam. Take RTF for example, had the game died under Kabam, the community would not have left it for dead. Quite the opposite, but that's an outcome for another universe to enjoy. Dekka's the original slogan was a lie, because they aren't breathing any new life into more than one game. I perceive DECA to be completely awful and people claim they need to pay their for their servers and their developers and yet they have enough money to merge or buy out different IPs. This is why I ended my response with, I'm starting to look at DECA as a company similar to Kabam, a life leech. They only want money and the money they get from ROTMG is only money they are currently making from the surface looking in. They're a life leech. <laughs> I can only hope that Unity brings a new wave of players that gives DECA an incentive to fix some of their games, but if their numerous campaigns didn't do the trick, then I don't know that anything can. DECA is a consumer predatory indie company that doesn't make its own games. As a matter of fact, they have nothing to their name in terms of success. It's all built on other people's work with nothing to their name. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. They buy out games, increase the microtransactions in those games, and then call it success if people buy into it. It's absurd. Deca Games Greed 2. 
with all that being said and the light being shed i'm still going to play unity when it comes out more than likely just because the company is evil doesn't mean the community is and the realm of the maga community is amazing simply put i mean just look at the subreddit like if, if you want to see how awesome a community is i'd say that they're like you know top tier top five easily even if they don't like me all that much and if i don't end up playing the unity beta then i'll wait for rotf standalone to come out if it ever comes until then farewell